So, here's another fucking dumbass news story. Pharmacist denies woman miscarriage medication due to his personal religious beliefs. Um, uh, it's a woman in Arizona made the, I hate this terminology, brave choice. It's not fucking brave. Uh, to make a very private loss into a public discussion. Again, I don't think it's, well, nah, I still don't think it's brave. Fuck it. Um, she basically, she went to Walgreens and the pharmacist, uh, re refused to fill a prescription required to help her, uh, end the pregnancy with the child dead, um, citing moral objections, even though the fetus didn't have a heartbeat. Basically, she had had a previous miscarriage and her doctor was monitoring this pregnancy pretty closely. Like she went in for a fucking ultrasound like every week. And she had miscarried again, unfortunately. Uh, there was no fetal development nor heartbeat. It's dead. Unless you got the fucking Necronomicon, you ain't bringing this thing back. Now she could have the surgical D and C or take this medication. It would induce contractions and, sorry to be crass here, basically flush it down the damn toilet. But the pharmacist refused to give it to her. Now, here's my thought. This is Walgreens. This pharmacist is not the fucking owner of Walgreens. Do your fucking job. And yes, I am aware of the irony when I'm fucking defending Jack Phillips' right not to make a gay wedding cake. This is also different. This is also, nobody's going to die if they don't get their fucking wedding cake. Okay, this woman has a, essentially, if, if you believe the fetus is human, fine. She's got a rotting corpse inside of her. You know, uh, she stood at the mercy explaining this in front of her seven-year-old. Uh, she was denied because of his ethical beliefs. Uh, look, I hate to bring this up. I hate when somebody's personal beliefs, and yes, everybody has their own beliefs, but here's where the fucking beliefs end. When you go to work or where anyone else begins, you can think abortion is wrong as long as you don't attempt to say it should be illegal. Then I got a big problem. Your moral beliefs do not, or, or your moral beliefs, or your worrying about everybody else ends where everyone else begins. This is, this is a big reason why I fucking hate teachers, and I fucking hate nurses, and I fucking hate anyone like this. Nurses have the same fucking bullshit where they're worried about every other motherfucker on the planet. No, your job is not to worry about how I live my life. Your job is to basically patch me up when I get banged up. Outside of that, shut the fuck up on how I live my life. But I'll have another, I'll have a rant on nurses at a later date. Uh, it was, uh, basically her prescription was, uh, my soap. Prostol, it's used to terminate pregnancy, pr prepare for the cervix insertion of an IUD, treat stomach ulcers, so that isn't even anything to do with pregnancy. Um, and pharmacists have been known to refuse to give women this medication um, because of their anti-abortion beliefs. Again, this is not your fucking duty to impose. You can have whatever belief you want. Then... Here's a thought, dipshit. Here's a thought, dipshit. Find a job that is at a religious baker or a, a religious fucking uh, pharmacy or start your own pharmacy. Then I believe you have every right not to sell contraceptive medication. But you didn't. You got a job at Walgreens because they pay a shit ton because they're a national, multinational corporation. So shut the fuck up, fill the fucking prescriptions, and shove your goddamn god up your goddamn ass. Your beliefs end where everyone else begins. Because when does it fucking, when does it fucking end? 
does the pharmacist get to decide that you're getting too much opi opioid medications and instead you should seek yoga as a treatment? Should, um, should the pharmacist have the right to say, you know, I don't believe that you need this medication because, you know, if you do this, you'll be cured. Well, no, that's not, that's not their job. Their job is to make sure the doctor hasn't fucked up and given me something that'll fuck around with another medication I'm taking or make sure he hasn't overprescribed me. Again. And where does this guy's moral objections end? Does this mean that if a man walked in for a prescription of Viagra, let's say, and he didn't have a wedding ring on? So it's an unmarried man getting, would this pharmacist fill that prescription? Because according to his beliefs, abortion is a sin. Well, so is sex before marriage. But I bet you he'd probably fill the fucking prescription. Again, uh, personally, I think this asshole should uh, – personally, I think this asshole should be forced to take an ethics course. I don't want to see him fired over this. Uh, maybe he should be fired and forced – or suspended and then take an ethics course. But if Walgreens wants to fire him, they're perfectly within the rights to do it. Um – you know, again, he could have gotten somebody else to ring up the prescription or fill the prescription. Because just filling it, that could be done by damn near anyone. If he counts out the pills or says, count out 32 of this and put it in this little, that could be done by damn near anyone. I, th I think with this particular drug, it can be. And they hand their fucking, and then they can do it. So he gets, a, it's a loophole. But just to say, no, sorry, bro, you chose the medical profession. That means that, yes, you have to do things that you may morally object to. Or get another job at another pharmacy or start your own fucking pharmacy. Outside of that, go fuck yourself. Do your fucking job.